which means we're going house hunting. Ah! I have been kind of limping, wobbling, can't really bend very well. So. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm really excited to film this because I am getting ready for a date day. Yesterday my husband gave me the itinerary that we were doing today and I'm so excited to get ready for date day. So for today's makeup look because I don't get to go out on date nights super often, I want to like look really pretty. Actually something that my husband said to me yesterday, he was like, oh how come you don't do your eyeshadow anymore? How come you don't wear color on your eyes anymore? I'm like, what do you mean? I wear eyeshadow every day. He's like, no, you don't wear the colors anymore. And I'm thinking back to like when we first started dating. It's 2024 now. The girlies don't do that anymore. So anyway, um, I just thought that for like our little date day, we would be a little nostalgic and I would do a full beat. Very first thing on the list of the itinerary is we're gonna go for brunch because I love me a good brunch. And then he's gonna take me to a coffee shop to have like a little productive date day. He mentioned that we were gonna go see Inside Out 2 today. Listen, this is the one thing about me. <laughs> I don't really love movies. I actually prefer not to watch them because I just feel like, and listen, this is also something that I unpacked in therapy, okay? I have productivity anxiety where I feel like if I'm not doing something productive, I'm wasting my time. Anyway, um, so long story short, I don't super enjoy movies unless I'm like thoroughly enthralled by the plot, a Studio Ghibli movie maybe, but I am excited though because it's a date night and we haven't done one of those in a while. I'm gonna hit a few points on my face with some concealer and I'm gonna use my Flawless Concealer Brush by Lythe beauty so life is doing like a whole rebrand instead of doing like lashes because they're super in the game of like just makeup in general but i thought i would show you guys their new makeup brush line and um, i'm gonna use this one right now it's the flawless concealer brush and this is what she looks like i actually love these brushes because they're super good quality like they actually genuinely feel like They've got that velvet material, not velvet, but like, you know when you touch a plastic and you're like, ooh, that's so smooth, that's so nice, that's so luxurious, this is what they feel like. So they feel super good quality and the bristles are so soft and I literally, I just cleaned them again with a little bit of alcohol so that they look nice for the video, but. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I'll be bringing them to Japan just because they're like so light and easy to travel with. What I love about this concealer brush is that, well, it's literally called the Flawless Concealer Brush and it literally airbrushes my concealer so i'm a big fan of that oh my god i still feel congested lord help me flawless you know what i always tell myself to do and then never do is put my contacts in before i start doing my makeup thank you for your service ma'am i gotta pick up the pace i'm gonna use my life uhd brow sculpt and get those babies sitting right my brow hairs are so stubborn Yes, I am. This is the palette that I'm using. Look at how cute she is. I am bringing her traveling with me everywhere. This is the Life Day and Night Eyeshadow Palette. It's basically got like everything that I could ask for in a palette. It's like really pretty neutrals, but it's hopefully enough pop of color that my husband notices I put on eyeshadow this time. <laughs> so these are what the colors look like. And then on the back, it does tell you kind of like what they're for. I'm gonna use my Essential Blending Brush and I'm gonna go in with the blended color. I feel like a makeup guru again. I love this brush, it's so fluffy. If you guys are looking for like a makeup brush set to like just start out with, or if you just haven't upgraded your brush set in a while, this one is a very good one. She's so soft and not scratchy like my other ones. Hun, I'm wearing eyeshadow today. <laughs> he goes, okay. Okay, and then this is my crease defining brush. And I'm gonna use that just to buff out. Well, it's all coming back to me. This is what I used to do every, can you believe this? Every single day before classes, I would literally put on like a full beat, crazy. I'm gonna go in with a cut crease color and my pencil crease brush, just in the outer V. Let's go in with rose gold with the finger. Wow, that's so soft. Pretty. Oh, she's back, baby. Imagine if I pulled up to work like this every day. Nobody could tell me anything. 
No. I'm gonna do the precision shadow brush and do a little bit of, I think, this color and this color and buff it in the bottom lash line. So eyeshadow is done and then the last thing I'm gonna do is take my glow highlighter brush. I'm using my Lithe High Definition Gel Liner. Just finished my eye look and I just used, what lashes did I use? These are the style B2 Full Flare. You could tell they're very big and very flared, but I love them. Before I go and put jewelry on and change and fix my hair, I did just want to say thank you so much to Lithe beauty for um, collaborating with me and for sponsoring today's video please don't forget to check out their new six piece essentials brush set i love them they're so soft i know you guys will love them too and also just a quick shout out to this palette because it's so cute life day and night eyeshadow palette and i think it's perfect for my day day if you guys are interested in purchasing any of their products then you can use my code diane15 it'll give you 15 percent off your whole order definitely go check them out go check out their brush set you're gonna love them quality on the eyeshadow palette is chef's kiss and I will see you guys in a bit. Gotta do my hair, gotta change, let's go. Great day, even though my top keeps falling down. Finally at our coffee date spot. This is like my favorite coffee house chain. I'm shy and there's people around. Anyway, I'm just here to get some work done. I'm gonna finish editing one of my vlogs. I don't know what Connor's working on, to be honest, probably our finances, but you know, I'm so excited because at brunch, he told me that we're gonna go take a look at open houses. Which means we're going house hunting. Ah, I'm so excited. He keeps telling me it's not house hunting, but like window shopping and shopping are the same thing to me. So we have a few open houses to visit today. I'm so excited. We're gonna do a few productive things before we go. So I think we'll be here for about an hour and then we'll head out. I had the most wonderful time at our coffee break. I got so much done, coffee break. Our coffee date. I got so much done and now we are going to our very first house viewing. I will come back with my thoughts. A few prospects on this house. What, what, tell me about this house because I actually don't know. The three bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage. It's listed for like 875 I think, seven right? Something. Oh seven something, okay. I'm excited to see it. Eight hours later. So after a long day of being out, we're finally headed home now. We saw three houses today. I think we learned a few things. Um, the first being that I that I have high expectations <laughs> and that everything is expensive. The first house that we saw wasn't really that impressive at all. I think it was the biggest one that we toured, but pretty much everything needed to be redone. There, like the floors were crap the walls the trims everything about that house and and it smelled like cat piss so anyway that was like 750 decent neighborhood i think all three of the houses that we visited were in a decent neighborhood but that one was just not for us the second one was really really nice pretty much move-in ready it had a pool in the backyard it was really pretty to look at not too much green space and the only thing is that it felt too small for me and i think how big was that one like 1300 square feet and that felt cramped to me and then the last one that we toured was probably the one that we liked the most the kitchen was nice the bedrooms were so so cool like the children's bedrooms first one that we saw had a totoro painting on the walls and then the second one was dragon ball z but the master bedroom was really small and i didn't like that there wasn't an ensuite for the master bedroom and i think all of the houses that we toured only had two bathrooms it was just nice to i think shop around and see what everything was like so what did you think about the houses that we saw i would echo what, what my beautiful wife has said period so um we're just gonna keep looking <laughs> we're just gonna keep looking i guess once we get back from japan um i think we'll probably look a lot more seriously but it was nice to even just see what was on the market and just see how crazy the market is right now because you got me fucked up that all of those houses are like eight hundred thousand up under nine hundred thousand dollars and they were all like 
anyway it's been a little bit since the last time that i vlogged when was that day day so literally i've just had the most hectic week at work this year kiko turned two and there's this thing that we did last year that i'm hoping it becomes a tradition last year for kiko's first birthday we went back to the breeders which is about like an hour and a half away from our place we took him back to the breeders to see his mom and dad i think his siblings were also invited but nobody else came so it was just kiko and his shiba mom and dad and then the breeders obviously and they had such a fun time and it was so wholesome it was so cute so this time around we're going again flitters are invited so i'm really excited because i want to see kiko interact with not only his parents but his siblings too and just like other shibas in general so yeah it's gonna be so cute i'm so excited i'm so excited i will bring you guys obviously along with me but i hope that everything is good and i hope that kiko is so happy to see his family let me finish my coffee and then go get ready She's so, you are so pretty. Not the whole squad ganging up on her. I hope that the audio is clear and that it's not like super muffled because we have the AC going and it's so hot outside. So happy Friday to all those who celebrate because girl, this week was so long. I was afraid that Friday wasn't gonna come. I was afraid that I wasn't gonna make it, y'all. Yesterday, we celebrated my hubby's 29th birthday. I know, he's literally in his last year of his 20s. The restaurant that I took Connor to yesterday for his birthday, it was so good. Han, what did you think about the restaurant we went to? Yes, it was really good. It was kind of like a finer restaurant, so it was a little bit pricier, but the ambiance was so nice. They had live music, and then on top of that, the food was so good. Even the bread was good. The bread and the butter was good. The Caesar salad, y'all, didn't even know Caesar salad could taste like that. You know what I mean? Like, it was really good. I forgot the reason that I picked up the vlog camera in the first place was because I meant to tell you guys that I tweaked my freaking back. I just never got around to updating y'all. But the other day, I ran 8K to train for my half marathon in September. The run, surprisingly, you know, it was fine. I had some steam to let off, so the run went really well. I've been coughing since, like, the beginning of July because of that cold that I had. I cannot get rid of this dry cough and I coughed so hard I threw my back out. I'm not even 30 yet and I'm throwing my back out by coughing. It's it's rough out here. I have been kind of limping, wobbling, can't really bend very well. Yeah, I just thought I would update you guys because it is so painful to throw your back out. I had no idea. We have a friend that's like our age and or how old is Brian? He's like a year older than us and this guy throws his back out so often shout out lily and brian but i used to laugh because this guy threw out his back once by coughing too hard and i'm like brian come on you're not even like 30 yet and then i feel like this is my karma because i'm not laughing this shit's not fun this shit hurts it's been i think two or three days now since it happened and i'm like slowly recovering but girl i do not wish this pain on anybody anyway um i've been yapping enough see ya on the way to get my nails done again we have a wedding tomorrow thank you hon i love it so today is erica and a man's wedding so we are at megan and kaden's house now i wanted to show you guys the look because i love it i feel like i look very cutie today and i even curled my hair i'm still in my pjs and i'm not wearing a bra so don't look and then the nails I just got them done yesterday. My girl Han 
eats kills every time. I'm really excited. I'm gonna vlog the wedding day today as per the request of the bride. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna put in this vlog because I obviously wanna capture a lot of very intimate moments and just like make a separate video for her and a man. So probably keep most of it private. <laughs> Look at my flowers. Aren't they so pretty? Today, Connor and I are gonna go up to a cottage about two and a half hours away from where we live to celebrate our two year wedding anniversary. I think I'm gonna vlog that this whole trip separately outside of this vlog because this vlog is getting really long. Yeah, we're just about to leave soon in about half an hour to an hour. And I have my suitcase back there as well as like my travel backpack. All of my stuff and all of my husband's stuff in this bag and then just like a pair of sweats in there and my laptop like that. My backpack is not full at all. But I am planning to pack all of my stuff in this carry-on when we go to Japan. My plan is to pack all of, like pack very, very lightly everything in this carry-on, check in my actual like bigger luggage, as empty as I can possibly make it so that I can bring back lots of my shopping and then treats and souvenirs and stuff for people. As we are like spending weekends away and stuff before our trip, I'm like trying to pack as little as possible and it's so hard. It's so hard. Nobody has faith in me. My husband doesn't think I can do it. My cousin doesn't think I can do it. None of my friends think I can do it because they know that like I just like am an overpacker, but I feel like I figured out a system. Like I feel like all my clothes fold really, really small, but like I also pack as many mini things as possible. I'm also taking this with me to my trip because it's so little and so portable, but the colors are so neutral and so versatile. So I know that I can create a lot of looks with this, especially for our two year anniversary. One of the things that is forecasted right now that I really, really hope that we get to see is a meteor shower. And we're gonna be more up north than we are right now. I hope that we get to see the meteor shower and apparently it's supposed to happen the day of our wedding anniversary. So we'll see if we get to see it. Before I ended the video, I did just wanna say thank you so much to life beauty so much for sponsoring today's video i really love their new night and day eyeshadow palette and i highly recommend it the colors are so good they blend really well and they're very pigmented along with their brushes as well like i feel like this palette and the brushes together is like a top-notch combo and it leaves me looking snatched every time if you guys are interested i'll leave links down below and don't forget that you can use my code diane15 to get 15 percent off on your whole order hubby and i gotta go so i will talk to you guys in my next vlog and hopefully we get to see the meteor showers i'll see you guys later bye